Hi, I'm Joya Dakari, writer performer of Truth Values. Welcome to the next installment of our video series on women in mathematics. This segment features an interview with Professor Katrin Verheim, who offers a fun insider's account of being on the math faculty at MIT during the nervous laughter caused by their finding out about the existence of my play. Please enjoy. Yes, <laughs> sure, I was here to see it. It was it, uh, it changed dramatically, you know. It was uh, in the, the first time I heard about the play. Actually, no, I, I think I got announcement emails, and I was wondering what what is this? You know, even me, I would call myself a feminist. You know, I I fight people, I yell at people for doing you know bad things. But even I was like, what is that? Can you? Know, this is just some disillusioned math student who flunked out and now wants to get back at a what? I was a little yeah. You know, sort of afraid of what this might be. I was probably going to see it. And then there was sort of, the department chair mentioned it at, um, at the you know, beginning of the semester meeting and there was a whole lot of nervous laughter. You know? um, questions, who, who is this actually? You know, it was like, do, do we know? You know, do we need to be afraid? There was, there was a whole lot of, uh, yeah, people were very afraid of what picture this might paint, you know. It was really not clear how people would react, but the moment the first people saw the play and came back and were just, you know, very relieved on the one hand that there was no finger pointing and also just, you know, I think people really enjoyed all the MIT insider jokes, they have felt that this was a piece of their life come, come to life. Not just women, you know, just, I mean, I think Joya really brings math to life. You know, she shows what it's like to, you know, be stuck on a problem and then suddenly the door opens and you, you, you know, you understand how to solve it. And so there's a little people, I think, across the board, every mathematician from this department who's seen it just really enjoyed it as, as you know, showing the culture of a field and you know, showing some critical things, but you now raising awareness and you know, being fair about it. So really I'm, I'm not sure how much further we've gotten in math. You know, there's, there's an understanding that things are not okay. There's an understanding that one cannot treat women as secretaries. We belong, yet we don't often. It's also getting actually harder to talk to people about unconscious bias because everybody feels we're done with it. You know, it's not happening anymore. We have affirmative action. What else do you want? Um, and so talking about unconscious things is, is hard for people, you know, admitting that they there's still problems. It will, we'll see how many people will come tonight versus how many people you know, <laughs> come to the policy discussions. I think, it, I mean, it certainly reaches a different audience. As we discussed at the symposium this morning, you know, the, the question of women in science and engineering is not just a question about science and engineering. You know, it's women in the corner office and you know, every part of life um, where it's been hard for women to break into will have similar stories. It's great to just, you know, get Joya back into MIT, you know, and also show, I mean, we've, I think, overall we've gotten great press through this, um, you know, I think MIT has this sort of history of trying to be very open about um, problems, you know, problems that are numerically evident and that, you know, may show that MIT is not doing so well, but, you know, we've tried to be honest about it and tried to um, do things about it and um, you know and on on the one hand I, I feel Joya's picture of MIT is actually a, a pretty good one <laughs> you know? um, and the, the, the you know questions of you know hard parts that she, she um, shows are also issues that clearly we need to work on and, and you know it's we're, we're grateful for you know being handed this vessel by which we can, you know, think about it hopefully more, um, more effectively, and also, you know, tell the rest of the world that there's, there's still a problem out there. And so, um, you know, I hope it'll keep the dialogue alive here, um, and I think it's, I think it's important for MIT to just embrace this and say, you know, this is, this is our story, and we're, you know, we're, we're grateful it's being told.